There's a kind of existential patience. Hey, girl. Hey, I cut the elusive honest to see Uh, there's a kind of existential patience you have to take on whenever you have a very full life and you have goals you want to accomplish. So you, let's say you want to write a chapter in a book or something. Like you want to finish some project you're working on, but you also are going to have dinner with your family. You also are, have a gym appointment and a client to meet and work to go to and kids to feed and whatever it is, that project you're working on, you're going to have this like 30 minute window in two days to work on it. So in two days time, after you've finished all these other side things, then you have a 30 minute sprint session to try to get your project done. And then you've got to plan the next time you can sit down and do it. And that existential patience that I'm describing needs to be there or you A, won't make any time for the project or B, you get really frustrated and be really hard on yourself. You'll feel like you're never making any progress, which which is natural to feel that way, but that frustration will lead to you never actually sitting down and doing that half hour sprint. So you got to take some deep breaths and realize that the, the parts of your life that are standing between you and getting that project done are necessary. <laughs> you've already whittled, hopefully, you've already whittled the fat from your life. You've already chiseled down those, those unnecessary moments. Like you're not spending time playing video games or, or taking your phone to the toilet and it's taking 30 minutes to get off the toilet kind of thing. Like you're, Everything you're doing is a necessary evil, so to say, between you and whatever it is you want to accomplish. So keep that in mind. Don't don't give in to despair because you're not working on your thing every day or exactly when you want to or you don't have enough time for it. Use those little chunks of time. Sprint your way through that half hour. Take a deep breath. Find your existential patience. <laughs> and keep in mind that the little side things that you're doing that's life. You want to have dinner with your family because you want to have a family. You know, you want to build those relationships. If you want to have a close family, that's what you do. You want to do the little things like get the car for your spouse or make the dinner for your spouse or take the time to build some intimacy in your relationship. You want to do those things. Are, those aren't side things, like annoying side things. Those are That's life. That is life. I like that. Thank you. And thank you for all those side things. My life is so full and wonderful. And my biggest problem is like, I might not write today. I might, I am gonna have to write tomorrow. Today is just too full of other stuff. Fine, okay. What's it full of? Like, am I getting shot at? Is there a tiger trying to eat me? Am, like, am I running for my life? No, it's full of family activity and like all other kinds of, of activities that are that are positive, good, things to be grateful for, non-violent, <laughs> life is good. And, and that's why it's an existential patience rather than like a, a management of dread. <laughs> Just like take a deep breath, project time's coming. All right, thank you, sweetie. Yeah, that's right. You got some kisses, camera, what's up? All right, bye-bye. And if I may